My name is Wong Kok Hong and my FYP title is Thermal Electric Generator for Charging Mobile Devices. Thermal Electric Generator is not uh, sufficient to supply 5 volts uh, for charging purposes, so it requires boost converter to boost up the voltage. In my projects, I compare two boost converter circuit topologies, which are the boost converters with feedback loop and another one is switching regulator. First, I use Multisim to simulate my boost converter with feedback loop. This is the input voltage of 3 volts I set and the output of 5 ohm. Then run. So at first, I can't get the output voltage of 5 volts. So I can adjust uh, the output voltage by uh, adjusting the potential meter. So this is the uh, output voltage transient response. I can get uh, around 5 volts here. Uh, I have plotted the input current, uh, output current, and input voltage and output voltage. So I use output voltage as my uh, example for the analysis. So I will zoom in and then I use trace cursor and I uh, determine the uh, maximum and minimum value of the uh, output voltage in order to uh, obtain the uh, average value so I made an exam uh, assumption here uh, I assume that the uh, output voltage uh, has the perfect periodic waveform so I use the maximum voltage 6.74 plus 4.16 and then divide it by 2 in order to get the average uh, voltage and then I use the same method and the same exam assumption on other parameters after I got all the average value that I want and I started to calculate the efficiency. Next, I also simulated the switching regulator circuit. Actually, this circuit, uh, I can obtain it from the, uh, the switching regulator model that I use in my projects. So I can get the application circuit here, and then simulate it on LT spice. And I set the input voltage of 3 volts and the output loss of 5 ohms. And then I run the transient response. This one is the input parameters, and this one is the output parameters. So when you reach uh, steady states, and I started to uh, obtain the value that I want in order to find the efficiency. So as shown here is the input voltage which is constant and then the input current is in periodic waveform. So I also use this uh, same method to measure the uh, average value of the uh, input uh, current. I use the maximum 3.27 here and then 0.84 M plus together and then divide by 2. I also use the same method and assumption on the output parameter as well. So in order to uh, compare the two circuit topologies performance I applied two variables the first one is the varied input voltage and the fixed output load and the second variable is uh, fixed input voltage and varied output load this is the uh, overview of my hardware implementation uh, this is the uh, energy source and I connect uh, connected four TG modules in series and then I use candle as my uh, hot source and ice as my cold source. And then the TEG modules is connected to the switching regulator circuit. And then the output will be the uh, USB port to charge the mobile phone. And this one is the multimeter uh, really used to uh, measure the important parameters which are important to uh, determine the efficiency. As everything is set up completely, then we just uh, insert the USB to the USB port and the phone is charging successfully.